So what up, Stork and MXS here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create random height maps in uh, Photoshop for MX Simulator. So you want to go to the, your personal folder and uh, I've made a new folder called test track here. Uh, and you want to take the terrain file uh, and uh, open it in Photoshop. Once you've done this, you can go to Filter, you can go to Render Clouds. Uh, the white here is higher elevation, and the black and dark is lower elevation. So, what this does is that it renders like a grayscale kind of randomly. And uh, the white here, uh, pure white will be the top, and pure black will be the bottom. So, as you can see here, you have like one, two, three, like mountains, and one, two, three, four, five valleys. So, and if you're not satisfied with them, with that one, you can see you can take Control F and render another one. No, no. Let's say this one. No, that one seems pretty good. It seems pretty even out, like a lot of nice things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to save it. Uh, save and close Photoshop. As you can see now here the terrain.png is this one. So what we're going to do next is go to terrain.hf and edit with notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, the 9 here indicates that it's at 1025 pixel terrain and shading. This one indicates that each pixel will be, will be 2 feet so our map will be 2049 feet. So this is the minimum lowest part and this is the maximum highest part. So let's say you just want to have some uh, minor elevation just so you can get a feeling that it's um, it's just natural, not too high, not too low. You could go with 20 feet that would be equal to about seven to eight meters if you're using the metric system so I've saved it and now I'm going to open up the track and show you how it looks as you can see here everything looks really flat and weird that's because there's no shading yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tile map and just paint it over with the brown tile map and as you can see it renders again and now you can see that there is some um, at least some differences so as you can see right now it's not much but there's little so and of course this is more natural than a completely flat surface so yeah and this one was pretty smooth so you don't need to do anything really but I'm um, what we're going to do on the late one is we're going to go set it to perhaps one and make it large enough and I want to set the focus to the one so it's the same all over the brush and just press smooth and smooth it out so that will create that will get rid of all these minor really small bumps like really annoying ones you'll see more what I'm talking about when I show you a bigger difference. So I'm just going to quit the game uh, and let's say we want to have like actual hills more or less so we'll set this one to uh, 150 feet that would be about 50 meters difference uh, that's maybe too much 120 feet so uh, it's going to be elevated by between 0 feet and 120 feet so I'm opening up the game again and you need to restart the game to load the new values here I've opened up again so I'm just going to stand the rider up as you can see here it's a huge difference so I'm just going to go over and paint this one again with the tile map And as you can see here, it's a lot bigger hills and valleys and everything. So, as you can see here, it's so...
bumpy, so you can't almost ride. So here's when you really need to smooth it out. So as you can see, it's pretty much unrideable. You can ride, but it's really hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, do this again and smooth set to about one. It's better to do two times than one. So let's try that. As you can see, it's much better. Um, it depends on if you're going to make a track. Uh, it really depends on what you want it. Do you want to have a really rough surrounding and environment? Then one may be good. Uh, but if you want to ride like free ride, let's try to make one more smooth it out. Still not really that good. I'm putting it on two. So now you can see it's pretty rideable. So that's how you can create a random height map in Photoshop. So it's just to render some clouds on the terrain. And then you just need to repaint or smooth out to get shader shading working. Uh, the one, the thing I did in the beginning. Uh, otherwise, it'll with, it will look pretty flat. So that was everything for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the video and perhaps learned something. So that's how you can create a completely random terrain using Photoshop. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos and I see you next time.